Evening everyone, how are we doing tonight? Welcome along Milton and Josh, hope we're both well. So hopefully uh, YouTube will wake its ideas up a bit. It doesn't help if it doesn't send notifications out. So we have come back to Greenwich tonight. The difference between tonight and last night is we now have the Platinum DLC on here. So we're going to look at various bits of the DLC tonight. Evening 1174, how are we doing? Evening IRT, welcome along. So it's very much up to you guys which parts of the DLC we look at. Obviously we've still got the 8900 here to finish doing this field with what I started in the review video, which is where we're going to begin. I'm not bad, thanks. But from that point onwards tonight, it's over to you guys as to what tractors, machines we look at, with one exception. <coughs> there is one vehicle we will not be looking at because that's tomorrow's video. <coughs> I haven't even looked yet IRT to be honest. We'll get this field finished then we'll have a uh, good look through there and see what we can find. I'm surprised that class didn't want their biggest header on this combine. The cow looking loader, hmm, yeah. Not sure about that one, Milton, to be honest. The Dev Mule Torian. So they've done a pretty good job, as I said in the video, replicating this. Haven't ridden in the real one this year. Shouldn't take too long to knock this field out so we can have a look at the other bits and pieces. I think I only leased this combine from memory. Don't usually buy them when I review them. Evening Jeremy, how are we doing? Let's hope they, they, that they roll these 3D tracks out across the whole range now. Challenges could do with them as could the RT John Deere's. And the half track New Holland and Magnum. Given the size of this combine, I don't think we'll need to worry about emptying the grain tank too much on this field. The straw chopper goes to full width as well, which is good. Something I didn't check in the review video I done. Hmm. It's unfortunate then. I 
but I'd imagine that the class were fairly insistent that they wanted that as a feature. You can't blame them. So what were we all thinking of the DLC so far then? Those that obviously got up. Yeah, that would be handy as well. And the head of trial of this combine is particularly good as well. tends to follow the combine a lot lot better than anything else does in game at the moment. We all know how bad the head of trailers are following the combine when we're towing them. They do Jeremy, but the dominator isn't quite as raspy as I was hoping for. liked a little bit more of a growl to it. I've not looked at the tractors yet Milton. I've looked at the two combines plus one other one for tomorrow's video. And that's it so far. I haven't even looked at the two Carno yet. So, so I'm going to be guided a bit by what you guys would like to have a look at tonight once we've cut this field. We do still have another field to combine as well near the yard, so there is scope to try the two Carno if we want to. say so far what I've seen the DLC I'm quite impressed with their effort though now as I say Jeremy you looked at them yet that can be something we have a look at in a little while Um, what is that in the middle of the grind tank? Evening Terrier, how are we doing? What is that large bulbous white lump in the middle of the combine grind tank? Oh dear. Evening Thomas, how are we doing? It would appear we have a small fill plane bug in the grind tank. I know what the auger is, that's the big white lump around the auger. Josh. What shouldn't be there? That nice white fill plane there should be wheat. Somebody's made a boo-boo. Oh, good, thanks, Thomas. Hmm. 
No, oh, well, there's certainly a slight issue there, unfortunately. I'm running very few mods on this save game deliberately. That shouldn't be a conflict of any description. Exactly, Jeremy. Yeah, there's definitely a field plane issue there. That's unfortunate. Disappeared now. See what happens when we fill it this time. Uh, liking the uh, DLC so far, Thomas. I've not looked at the tractors in here yet. See, unlike yourself, I've got to go to work this week. much for a chance to look at anything yet. I don't know it's going to be one of them really weird random intermittent glitches what doesn't always show up. And I don't, really don't know what you're talking about Jeremy. I've never done it, so I've had that coming out of the back of a combine like that. Might look like a field of snowed or anything. So it seems okay so far this time. Unfortunately, the big Torians are a little bit uh, quiet, shall we say. <coughs> so it's working this time. That's what we should have been seeing around that auger last time. There's also the intermittent glitch for that. Interesting. I have a feeling myself and GD were a little bit mean to you last night, Terrier, to be fair. Funny, but mean. Just as well I wasn't on here last night when I was doing that and uh, took a picture of and parked in the KFC for you. <laughs> T 
That must have been wet recently. That must be flooded under the bridges again. The last week or so. They are having a big step up. And I think they've been very much driven by um, class with this one, from what the class chap said to me at the 8900 launch that I went to. They've had quite an input into this. I still personally suspect that Class were originally going to be the main brand in the game, not John Deere. It's only when Class said they didn't want the DLC out until this combine had been launched for real, that something had to be done. Don't look too good here either, Terry, to be honest. Otherwise. Exactly, Jeremy. Right, so we're going to need a tractor to move that trailer with, because I'm not going to use that John Deere again. So let's have a look what we have got in the way of class tractors. Under small we have the little Arian 460 and 410. Well, that's going to be a bit on the small side for that trailer I think. But we can have a look at it. It used to be on the um, 7 series combines. They've completely redesigned it for those ones. It's a trelly bog or knocking tires. That's not a bad looking little tractor really. Interesting choice of the panoramic roof. We'll go for 460, we'll just lease one of them to have a look at. I have Aaron. I used to drive a Lexian 460. I've also driven a 480 and a 570. We're going to go for the biggest one from each range to have a look at here. At least these ones have got a Michelin option on them. I just wonder why they didn't put them on the smaller one. changes in cab if we spec the uh, GPS doesn't look too don't quite know why we've had to have a heated windscreen in the back of that including myself Jeremy Have the 870. We've got Mitre's tar option on this one. 
a meaty looking tractor. So let's have a look at them three so far. We'll just grab a loader as well. We better get the right one for the tractor. Alright, so let's have a look at this little 460 we've got here. We'll just uh, change the daylight a little bit on here. These aren't too bad, really. Certainly have upped the game a little bit with them. I think we've lost him, Jeremy. Oh, that's a rocket launcher for a minute. Just our ball rack on the side there. Looks tiny compared to the other two parked beside it. Nice little joystick we have in there. I wish Greenbale had moved this spawn point a bit further away from the shop when he'd done it. At least they got the joystick working. Yeah, perfect livestock for. Farm track to Jeremy. So as with the loader on, we really should have put the panoramic roof on this. I guess the other big question that wouldn't have been nice if in their wisdom giants when they'd done this loader had actually put that little bracket there a little one in front of us with a three corner turn screw where that kink is in the rod where it's supposed to be so we actually had a referencing cab for where the loader attachment was level. Right, we're going to take the... See which one these two sound the best, shall we, actually, before we decide which one we'll take. Everything is nicely detailed right down to having the balls on the back there. They have upped their game with these, that is for certain. Quite substantially upped their game. Hope that little incident with Alexium was the um, only one we'll come across. What a nice place to put a filter on a tractor. Incredibly handy place to knock a filter off down there. Hi girlie, how are you doing? missed out on much at all when I've designed these and copy these into game. So we'll go and empty that trailer. 
Although if you say the 900 is a nice sounder track, we better have a look at that. I think we're getting back to the old scenario, Jeremy, that FS19 is a beater for FS21 in the way that 15 was for 17. Let's have a look at the 900 then, if you say, say that's the best sounding one. I can't remember if I've put both of them in here. No. I meant to put Smeety's one in here as well to do a comparison between the two. So I have actually spent a couple of days on the 950. Let's lease that one, take a look at that one then. <clears throat> nice beastly looking tractor. Convenient place to put the blue filler. So maybe we'll get this tractor on a big cultivator in a little while. Have a play with it on that. Seems a bit of a waste to use this one on a trailer. I'll take this one. Heated windscreen could get annoying, I think. Don't actually look at the white ship. Let's <coughs> we'll have a look at them when we uh, whack the big cultivator on something. I'm sure I didn't leave that trailer there. I think it's found its own way down there. I did finish drilling the field we started last night. So that's all done on here. Let's see these trailer connects up to it okay. Let's actually see where we'll just take this to. We've got another field to combine up here at the moment, and one there I believe. We've got a load of wheat on board. Turbine grain, wherever that is. We can't get much closer to where we are. So look at them then. Can't remember what engines the 800s are using in real life now, where they've gone onto the FPT ones like the 900s.
certainly seem to have got the sound sorted with these. Class have come a long way since they first done tractors when they're just green renos. Thankful of the combine. Then we'll get rid of that combine. Return that. And probably our John Deere tractor for that matter. If that tractor in this trailer doesn't cooperate. Don't forget to hit that like button guys if you're enjoying the stream, you much appreciated. Let's see if we can get to that 20 likes figure again tonight. Another video going out from the Platinum DLC tomorrow morning. Probably would be one video tomorrow. If I knew how well the first video was going to do today, I wouldn't have done the second one. I'll do put the one out. But the performance of that Dominator video has taken me by surprise today. Let's put it mildly. It's the fastest I've ever had a video get above 200 views, which is unheard of. Why is it when you've got a sore thing you always end up clouting on something? Or get it tangled in your G29? Okay, catch the light area. Try to keep yourself out of mischief there. Big ask, I know. Right, so we'll leave this in here for a moment. Let's have a thin out of some of this stuff we've got. So we get rid of that for now. And that one. And that one. That one. So we want to try a big tractor out, I think, don't we? 
So do we go try the 900 out or do we try Zerian out? What would you guys rather see? The 900 pulling the big cultivator or the Zerian pulling the big cultivator? So we got the uh, Zerian in here. Hey William, how are we doing? Now that just doesn't look right. That looks better. Yeah. He's a bit Jeremy. Be surprised anyone ever put one of these on narrow wheels. I'm good, thanks. Okay, let's have a look at this on a big implement. Get some weights on the front of it as well. Oh, so they've got the proper stack weights then. Hey Fiat Gaming, how are we doing? Got the proper class stack and whites there. Now we just need a uh, rather large cultivator to make this track to work. Large but not stupidly large. Something like that would do nicely. I guess the question for this is do we uh, sort of uh, keep it in the right direction? You always make use of the track VC bit if you want to use triple miles on it. have one of these working not far from here but I think they've got rid of it now. There are two of them. The big one and the smaller one. Oh, a lot of the tools in game haven't got uh, pipes on either. We well, can have a look at the minute because I've got the loader in the yard there. Get this set up on GPS. Let's check all the GPS actually works with it. Hmm, too early to say yet, Nathaniel. Hardly used them at the moment. So running on the guidance.
Now that actually sounds quite nice. Okay, this actually sounds very nice, this tractor. Any particular reason, eleven seventy four? Certainly do, Nathaniel. If you come in about half an hour ago, you'd have seen us cutting this field with it. See what happens when this starts pulling downhill. If I had to more up the map, I'd have put the big Gregoire plough on the back of it. I'd be asking for trouble on this map. Do all the field with this, we'll just have a play for now because I think there's some other bits of machinery we might like to have a look at in there. I guess you'll just have to petition Giants to a county DLC 1174. I know it is Nathaniel, I went to the launch event for it. There's a video on my channel of the actual machine at work at the launch event with me riding in it. <laughs> You're getting a lot for your money with the DLC. I know a few people complained that there's a uh, Harden 1174, you've gone all red. There's a few people complaining that um, they're in a map with her, but with how many vehicles in, I don't think we really need one. I'd rather have this assortment of vehicles than the map, personally. So, so I was going to make that look even better, I'll just get rid of the uh, haze from behind us. Like so. Oh, I'll let you off for that one then. I thought you meant the other red. In which case, you might have just had to ban you for it. Yeah, I'd say the DLC is well worth the money. And that's without even looking at everything in it yet. I think if we're going to try the silage stuff out, we need to do it as an MP, personally. want to do it properly and have a big go at the uh, solid stuff.
think it's more because there's always been a map in the DLC, Jeremy, that they expect it. Mind you, there is a certain part of this, uh, it's not wrong for the 8900 Nathaniel, it's just not the biggest one. You can have any size head you want on her. Evening Lee, how are we doing? Someone locally running the 780 with a McDonald header on it. Then you got a class header. Don't always have to have the biggest ones on them. It would have been nice to see the big one in the game, but uh, it's not. This is a really nice sounding tractor. Yeah, I think I have a leap. Okay, Jeremy. You thought you'd been abducted by aliens or something you've been missing for so long. Well, the rabbit man has snuck across the border and kidnapped you. I'm thinking maybe we do an MP silage stream at some point. Not on the Oakfield server though. Because obviously all this stuff is far too new for that. I did see those pictures but I was sort of preoccupied doing something at the time. So we'll just go up and down the field once more, we'll take a look at something else in the pack then. The question is, if we're going to do a MP stream, nothing to do with a server type one, what map should we do a big silage one on? I do have half an idea, unfortunately the, the other half the idea ain't going to work, because that map isn't MP friendly, so it's only half an idea, that would have been perfect for it. like to try that again um, Elite <coughs> yeah I don't know if we'll ever see an old school tractor pack though by Giants mm, wasn't Luno I was thinking of Um, 
not big enough, William. Not something with big fields where we're not continually chopping and changing fields, ideally. I mean, Oakfield would have been perfect, but we're not going to do two MPs on there, I don't think. Of course, if we did do an MP stream, it wouldn't involve private mods, which may mean that I was a bit more umpen about who could join them. Just for once. Definitely not Nathaniel. I'll try to work out what you're trying to say. Uh, mod swatch, mowers, power hammer and drill. I was presuming autocorrect had a something to do with that little statement. Peterville would be a possibility actually. Definite possibility, David. Welcome along. Yeah, I had a feeling that was autocorrect. I was just trying to work out exactly what you were trying to say in there. Ah. Not bad, thanks. Halfway through my working week now, so getting somewhere. Right, so what should we have a look at now then? Not doing well for farmers and MP. Alright, so we had all the tractors in the yard. Scorpion. Okay, Scorpion then. Not had much to do with class miles, so I have too much idea on that one. Really? Right, so we have our lever based scorpion. No Michelins? Oh, that's a shame. Shame we didn't gain any attachments for this, really. Alright, so let's have a look at this thing. So we give, they've given us the 10 meter scorpion then. With the hydraulic levelling ram. Might be wrong, but I think that's 10 meters, 3.3 ton lift machine. Had a slight glitch with the 8900 Lexian at the start of the stream, Elite. But it fixed itself by the next time we uh, filled the grain tank. So, another nice looking mod. So far, so good, David. Well worth the money as far as I'm concerned. Let's have a look at how detailed we can see on the side there. That wasn't a bad guess. 3,300 kilos. I must know something about the model numbers on these. It's not about the length, it's about what you do with it, Nathaniel. <clears throat> I 
Um, did that just do something silly then? It did. It spawns an adapter plate in there. So it has to have an adapter plate to the uh, carriage to get it right. Can't get the back wheels to lift up. I'm trying. What's gonna be our heaviest loading pallets? Do we think? You know what I'm gonna try and do with this. I think it's the forklift instructor in me. Anyone who's ever done a telehandler course will know exactly what we like to do with people on them if we can. Until they fit these new sensors to the damn things. Mm, I would say probably the liquid fertiliser tank would be the heaviest. So we'll get that and we'll get a set of pallet forks. This isn't going to end well, you know it's not going to end well, what I'm about to do to this. I think you guys have a rough idea of what's about to happen. If I can get away with it. think I have, or if I have it's certainly not installed in this one David. Don't blame me Sam, there's some nice stuff in this uh, DLC. No this is forklift instructor mode engaged Jeremy, not GD mode. The machine is still upright. Oh, how I do love the fact that these are not really big enough to get the pallet forks beneath sensibly. So if this has been given the correct weight The machine in theory should tip forwards if I push the boom out. Because that'll be just over two tons in that IBC there. So let's see what happens. I think I'd lift the wheels a bit easier than that in real life. With that on there somehow. No, well, fits both sides. picked up deliberately lengthwise so I want the weight further out 
So you can get it to dance, but it takes some doing. There we go. Good way to check the grease nipples. Just checking the detail out beneath the machine, basically. See, and it's still not on all four wheels. Let's see if we can get it to do it just by pushing out, because that should do. So it seems to be a fair array of uh, work lights on that as well. <clears throat> I think Giants have excelled themselves with this DLC. <clears throat> Personally. Even got the roller switches to work. Unfortunately, they've got the roller switches going back to front. The right hand one should go forwards to bring the boom, or put the boom out, and backwards to bring the boom in. It's going the wrong way round. As I'm bringing the boom in, the roller switch is going forwards, and if I push out, it goes backwards. So the switch is the wrong way round. Certainly no visibility problems from inside. That's a long way up there. Hey Austin, how are you doing? Yeah, the switch is up in the right place. <clears throat> really should put my seatbelt on there. Um, 72 Austin started an hour and 12 minutes ago so I think we'll be making use of this scorpion it's got to work out where um, how Ooh, can you know this should be fun Evening GT Farming, how are we doing? Let's try that again. You can a bit, can't you? See for miles up here. That's a long way down. So it's nice to actually have a longer reach telehandler in game. What graphics card did you get then if it won't work in your current one? Interesting to know why it wouldn't work.
which should work in what you've got there. Okay, catch there, Sam. Watch it, Jeremy. Ah. Don't understand why it wouldn't be compatible with the motherboard, though, if that's got the right fittings on it. Yeah, there's pipe couplings on the uh, loader here as well for tools. Just find them plates down there. So this one's got the old Carraro front axle on it. That's unfortunate. What motherboard have you got then? There they goes. Don't tend to watch Bake Off, it makes me too hungry. Ouch! That's a big hit on your bank balance. Right, what we got in here then we haven't had a look at yet. So we got no tethers. See what I mean Jeremy, a liner and a tether would have been nice in there. So we've got a proper uni wrap here and a proper Yeah, the numbers, that mean nothing to me. It's a Gigabyte Aorus motherboard that I've got in mine. Game and 7 Wi-Fi X470. Not anymore, Nathaniel. Have a look at this one. Now what foil colour options they giving us in here? Yeah. Not enough is the answer. That's unfortunate. Been nice to have more of a choice of colours in there, in my mind. And just the standard ones. Doesn't take much to do it. But I might have a look at that in a video. And we'll compare it with the one which was released elsewhere. That needs 230 horsepower. Yeah, right. <laughs> that bale is going to need more horsepower than that to pull it properly. It's a nice looking bale there. A bit gold plated blingy chain on there. Which bailer, Thomas? The uni wrap or this one? Yeah, I think that's just how the angles are on that one, Elite. That's the other one I have taken a look at. So let's have a look at this thing. Yeah, it'll be a little while yet for his update. And it is a massive update. Let's get this thing running and see what it sounds like. What 
of movement have we got on there? Pack of fingers, chopper, augers, rollers. Plunger. Most amount of moving parts in there. Steering axle. Try this at home. She won't want to fall in that bit. Lots of nice detail in there and movement. Unfortunately, we've got nothing to bail at the moment. Just take this back up our yard ready. We have got a little bit of straw to bail actually. I haven't cultivated it all in yet. Isn't that a bit of luck for us? Yeah, it does. If you've got the f pennies at buy at Farm Life, welcome along. Be my advice on it. It's worth every penny. Definitely worth having. You'll be sorry you bought it, put it that way. There's still a 4,000 litre valves by the looks of it. And the pickups are no wider. Annoying. Definitely not wasted up. I would say it's worth every penny of that, personally.
we can live with that one, farm life. Just got myself an unfortunate little friend at the moment. On every single video and every live stream. done too much to him to be fair. There's lots of little tweaks really. Okay we'll catch you later then. Try to stay out of trouble. Don't be going too much longer tonight anyway. One of two bits we haven't looked at yet in the DLC. Yeah, I know he does. I've seen his one two of his videos. Right, so as you guys keep mentioning, I suppose we really ought to have a look at these things. So we've got the sinus. Luckily mine aren't blocked tonight. So no Michelin option, but we now have my task trolley ball or knocking on it. Just have a look at that. 306 horsepower that thing, so it's not as at the uh, powerhouse. So we've got standard tyres, standard tyres or standard tyres. Okay, let's have a look at these two. That one on the right looks like a bit dropped off this one. Yes, make sure you use ultra low sulfur diesel in there. This thing run on bananas. No, that certainly doesn't sound right on that big one. This one doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, 
Anyone would think you're not a fan of 1174. So I'm guessing the little one is under there. Standard or twin? Really? They're the options? I think I've heard more poke in a 50cc moped than that big one. I get the boy racers around here to put one of their exhausts on her. Most of you have been in the streams long enough I heard one of them go past. Get me rod in the hole there. That would be the model, Nathaniel. These ones don't actually sound too bad. Was this one specially prepared for uh, Terrier or something? That's come with a fire extinguisher. This one's Terrier and GD proof. Hydraulic connections on there. They must have heard about their reputation for fire extinction, the baby. Poor little thing. To be fair, other than that small glitch we found on that 8900 earlier, I can't really find anything what pull holes in other than obviously the sounds, but that's uh, unfortunately par for the course. You mad fool. 40 to 50 mile on a moped. Nothing more than turbocharged hair drawer. Right, so I guess the only things we haven't really looked at then would be the mowers and the forage harvesters. There's a reason I've been avoiding the forage harvesters. It'll become clear at 7 o'clock in the morning. set of mowers land on top of me then. Some nice details on them again. What horsepower did them things need? In other words, do I need the 800 series or have I got enough here? 160 and 70. We'll try it. Ah, load the wagons two trials. Forgot about them. have a chance to look at everything tonight. Let's see if we can find a grass field nearby. Am I being ambitious here? Biggest loser, mate. If you mean in real life, I ain't got a clue on that one. That sounds more like an 1174 question to me. 
tree there. Might be for surprise here. Eh? Well, it's moving. Fifteen K it is moving though. Grudgingly it's moving. Not, not as exactly the speediest miles in the world, but they're working. I think this is known as grudgingly working on this horsepower. They're cutting, but the tractor is not happy in doing so. Mind you, 15k wouldn't have to be a bad mowing speed. Not too bad. Yeah, it could well be. Um, Jeremy? There is a uh, swath dropping mode. So it drops it into three swaths instead of spreading it out. So you've got widespread, or you've got. Um, Swath dropping. I don't think there'll be any others in there. Yeah, widespread or swath drop.
No worries, Josh. That's what the whole point of doing it live was for. If you guys want to check it, me check anything I could do. I ate four ice donuts before I went live, so I'm quite happy tonight. Nice bit of animation there as I filled up. Want to know where your donuts are? I joined the three um, large big burgers I had for tea. So, if we're going to do a silage MP. We'll have to prepare a map with uh, several fields of maize and several fields of grass for it. Yeah, we do, Josh, but because the door is now open for them. Now the class is in game. I imagine there's several very happy console players that they can finally have class on their game. I mean, I'm sure we've all noticed that the bunny is missing tonight. Which means he's still in some sort of class induced stupor, probably. But I have to say, I do quite like this scorpion. In fact, I really like this scorpion as a telehandler. Do you think we need to send out a search party for the rabbit? As he's missing. Missing, presumed, drowned in a vat of uh, rabbit drill. <laughs> Better to be a r happy bunny than a rabbit bunny. <clears throat> Thank you, Sander. So, don't think we'll be using this one anywhere somehow. But these two small ones may feature somewhere. Uh, Rabbit is busy amusing himself for class at the moment. So this will definitely be cropping up in a future video series somewhere. Just got to work out where and what I'm going to do with it. So all that we've really got left we haven't looked at are the forage wagons, the forage harvesters which we aren't going to be looking at too closely tonight and the loading wagon that's a big one I actually prefer the Michelin tars Let's have a look around this thing. That's a bit of a beast. Yep, 
Yep, this DLC is worth every penny. Especially when you get that sort of level of detail we've seen on here. The bed chains, everything in there. Everything is nicely detailed on these. Right down to the control valves there. Wouldn't ever want to have to use that spanner though, because that would only mean one thing. Quite probably. That we've blocked up. So if we can't uh, let's have a look at it from the inside as we're in there now. The chains look very two dimensional on the inside here. Yeah, I think they did, Jeremy. I think they have had a colossal amount of input into what they would go get in here. On this level of detail. And detail on there everywhere. Chains are definitely three dimensional. I'll look three dimensional on the outside, but two dimensional on the inside of there. It is Milan. Definitely the right shade. Good amount of lights on this as well. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it tonight because I've got something I need to do at nine o'clock. So I shall be back tomorrow night doing something. Not sure quite what yet. Um, we may actually set up a proper series using this kit then. See what we can come up with with all this stuff. Yeah, I think I'm pretty impressed with the class DLC as well. So for now, I'm going to pop a link into chat for this afternoon's 8900 review video but for now I'm going to say thank you for watching tonight hope you've enjoyed this stream and I will see you again tomorrow goodbye for now